despite the paint, it's it, it gets a nine. If it didn't have the paint, I'd probably give this an, a ten because I love it so much. Um, and to think I was actually going to wait on this guy, but I started hearing that you know he was getting a little hard to find, so I went to try to find him, and they didn't have him, so I had to get him offline. And that took a little while to get him. It got sent back. I'm glad I got him though. The paint on the on the lights is another thing, but it's a very small problem for me. Um, it could have used a little brighter of a color that that stood out, but it's no big deal. So the detail, most of the details on the wheels really. Uh, I love the wheels. I think they're fantastic. Then you got the jet boosters, of course. Jet boosters, pretty cool. Of course, you got the the, sim the Autobot symbol on the back, um, the red light on the top, and just the the black stripes going down it. And once again, the the, the translucent really bothers me. They could have just made this yellow plastic and painted the the windows black, and I would have been hella happy with that. Um, sorry for the word, the use of hella. I know some people don't like that word, but anyways. Yeah, he's just a great figure overall, even despite the problems, and I really recommend you get him, and get him soon, or you won't be able to get him. I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but seriously, do not wait any longer. It's time to get Bumblebee, get him home, get him away from scalpers, you know. Um, there's the bottom, of course. Okay. Now I'm going to transform this guy into robot mode, which is a pain, and I may have to edit because there are certain parts where I have to do this, you know, kind of constrained, so bear with me. First thing you want to do, take off the jetpacks, just set them down somewhere. Here, I'll set them on the table just so you can see them. Give you something to look at while I'm transforming them. I don't know. One of the first things I like to do is take this, take the arms, you lift them out and lift them back. And of course, the, the stingers usually do break apart. Well, when you do that, you should be able to get your fingers and break these panels off. Or take the panels off, not break them. Now you got that look. What you want to do next actually is rotate the waist up but before you rotate it fully you want to make sure you uh, you turn the waist so make sure you turn the waist um, fold these st st back stingers fold them together uh, not the stingers uh, the back panels why the hell was I thinking of stingers okay fold those hands out like that Fold the stingers in, especially if you've modified them, fold the stingers in. If you haven't, leave them out for now. If you haven't modified it, leave the stingers out. Uh, if you have modified the stingers, put them, put, a, put them in place to get them out of the way. Uh, what I like to do is just leave his arms up. And this is the hard part. You have to separate the little connector in the front here. And it's very difficult online. So I'm going to have to do it off camera. Okay, it's separated. Yes, it is a pain in the ass. Beware. It's a little too tight, uh, in my opinion. But once you do that, you fold the feet forward. You rotate them, I guess. Um, and then make his feet, of course. The next thing you want to do is the panels. Now, this one on mine, like I said, can come off. It, it's done it quite frequently. So I have to be really careful with mine. And there you go. That's one panel. And now the other one. And there we go. Now, the other thing you want to do is attach the jet boosters. You don't have to, but I like to do it because it just makes them look a little cooler. Um, so that's pretty much Bumblebee. The head needs to go up a little bit. 
There you go. He's kind of just standing here, but, you know, whatever. I might be able to get him a little... A little cool pose here. Okay, and there's Bumblebee. Um... The car mode, I think I gave it a 9. Even despite the... Panel... Translucent panel... The yellow paint issue, I think I gave it a 9. So, you know... The robot mode, there's... I'm not really counting the panels issue in the robot mode. So I'm, I'm counting the stingers in the robot mode. So he gets a... He gets a 9. Uh, if the stingers bother you enough, I'd say he's about an 8.5. But since they were such an easy fix for me, I, I give him a 9. Uh, and it really is easy to do. So it's... And it doesn't ruin your figure if you know what you're doing. Just you be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Don't 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 ruin the figure. You really have to kind of know what you're doing with the with the tool. Um, use a Dremel first, just to trim to trim away most of the plastic, and then cut away what's left with a with a hobby knife. But like I said, don't hurt yourself. He's a fantastic figure, and I'm I know I'm beating a dead horse, people. You don't you don't have to tell me. But you have to pick him up now. I, I seriously went to both Walmarts here. Uh, the Super Target uh, and the Toys R Us is, that's pretty much 10 minutes away from me. I went to all four of those places and he wasn't on any pay. He wasn't in any cubby hole. He was nowhere. He is gone. At least from my area. And I live in one of the fastest growing cities. Uh in the nation I believe so he's gone more than likely the only place you will find him is at a comic shop so if you don't have him you need to get him now and stop waiting because um, you won't be able to get him the one last thing before I cut the video his light piping is one of the best of the animated figures and I love his head sculpt uh, of course it's just like a show but I, I love the, the way they made his head. He is very G1-ish. And he was actually one of the first G1 figures I ever got. Was the, the little small-ass Bumblebee. Uh, I, I was amazed by that figure as a kid. I loved that thing. I broke it, of course. Like, I stepped on it by accident. Um, but, I think I only had him and a beat-up Optimus Prime as a kid when I was younger. Um... So it's it's good to have um, it's good to have a G1ish uh, Bumblebee now, you know. It brings back fond memories. I mean, I was playing with that that toy uh, all the way through uh, the holidays when I got him. Um, but yeah, this this is a, a great figure, Over, and overall he's a nine easily. Um, but if those if the panel problems bother you or the stinger problem, uh, th if those two things bother you. Uh, it's at about an 8.5. So I definitely recommend him. Pick him up as soon as possible. And this will probably be my last animated review until the next wave hits around August, sadly. But um, I should be getting more figures around that time. So this is Daz49. Signing.